coming up on this edition of Able to Cook, the only show that focuses on cooking and people with special needs in the kitchen. We talk about the history of the TV dinner and why Thanksgiving really happened, uh, especially in the TV dinner world. All that and much more when, when Able to Cook starts right now. Welcome to this edition of Able to Cook, the one and only program that focuses on um, people with special needs in the kitchen despite their disabilities and they cook with their abilities. On this, on this edition, we focus on the history of the frozen meal and the TV dinner. Let's begin. Um, for those that want to find out about this, you can find out um, there's loads of information um, in regards to that. You, you can go to wikipedia.org and find that out, and I'll give another website where you, if you want to find out more about history of the frozen meal. <clears throat> the frozen meal, also called the TV dinner, in Canada and the United States, or pre-packaged meal, or ready-made meal, or, or in the UK, it's called uh, ready meal, frozen dinner, or microwave meal, was ultra pro uh, is an ultra-processed food proportioned in an individual or for an individual in a tray. A frozen meal in the United States and Canada usually consists of a type of frozen meal, meat or fish or pasta, as the main course, and sometimes vegetables or potatoes and or a dessert or other foods in international customs. Other forms of convenience foods, which is merely refrigerated or uh, refrigerated meal and required less heating but expires sooner is popular. The term TV dinner has been commonly commonly known or was the first part of a pre or pre-packaged meals developed in 1953 by the company C.A. Swanson and Sons. The full name was TV brand Frozen Dinner. The original TV dinner came in an aluminum tray and was heated in an oven in the U.S. and Canada, and usually took about 15 minutes, not five minutes. The term TV dinner came in an aluminum tray and was heated in an oven in the U.S. and Canada, and the term is synonymous with a pre-packaged meal or dish or TV dinner purchased frozen in a supermarket and heated at home. In 1986, the Campbell Soup Company first introduced the microwave safe tray. Conse consequently, today, <clears throat> the frozen meal and trays are made uh, of a microwavable and disposable material, usually plastic or coated cardboard. The history goes on to say this. Several smaller companies have conceived the frozen dinners earlier. And if you want more, more information on that, I'll give you another website. And it was first to achieve widespread and lasting success was Swanson. The first Swanson brand TV dinner was produced in the United States and consisted of a Thanksgiving meal or turkey cornbread stuffing, usually frozen peas and sweet potatoes, packaged in a tray and those used at the time of airline food service. Um, <clears throat> each item was placed in its own compartment. The trays proved to be useful but the entire dinner could be removed from the outer packaging as a unit. The tray with its aluminum foil covered and usually heated directly in the oven without an extra, uh, without an extra and, sorry, 
without an extra, and one could eat the meal directly on the tray. The product was cooked for 25 minutes at 425 degrees, 218 degrees Celsius, and usually on a tray or table. The origin of the TV dinner sold for 98 cents and was in, first, was in the first production run of 5,000 dinners. The name TV dinner was coined by Jerry Thomas and considered its inventor and in an interview long with the product's production. Thomas noted that televisions were magic status symbols and that he thought the name TV dinner could be attached by attributes of the popular medium and the convenient food item. Another source, um, uh, uh, postulates the box <clears throat> of the TV dinner and looks like a television and that the TV trays folding tray table furniture soon appeared on the market. The, Navy, the name TV dinner was, oh, hold on, uh, sorry about that. Much has changed during the first TV dinners were marketed. For instance, the wider variety of the main courses, such as fried chicken, spaghetti, Salisbury steak, and Mexican combinations have been introduced. Competitors such as Banquet and Morton began offering prepackaged frozen dinners so others changes other changes also included. In nineteen sixty Swanson added desserts such as apple cobbler, brownies, and other dinners in a four compartment tray. In nineteen sixty nine the first Swanson T V breakfast were marketed. Great starch breakfast sandwiches such as such as egg and Canadian bacon also followed later. In 1973, the first Swanson Hungry Man TV dinner was marketed. These contained large, uh, larger portions in its regular dinners, and also American football player Mean Joe Green was the Hungry Man spokesman. In... Um, 1986, the first microwave oven safe tray was also marketed. Modern day frozen TV dinners was in microwave safe containers. Product lines also tended to offer a large variety of dinner types. These dinners, also known as microwave meals, can be purchased at, a, at most supermarkets. They're stored frozen. They prepare them, and the plastic cover is removed or vented, and meal is he and the meal is heated in a microwave oven for a few seconds. They are convenient, and essentially require uh, essentially require no preparation other than heating. Although some frozen dinners may be required, the preparer is briefly the preparer to briefly uh, carry out an intermediate step such as stirring mashed potatoes midway through the heating cycle to ensure adequate heating and uniform consistency of the component items. In the United, in the United Kingdom, in England, a prepared frozen meal becomes widely available in the late 1970s. Since then, it has steadily grown in popularity with the increased ownership of home freezers and microwave ovens. Demographic trends such as growth of smaller households, others have influenced the safe um, the safe sale and other types of, of convenient foods. In 2003, 
the United Kingdom spent five million uh, pounds, five million pounds on a day on, in ready meals as the largest consumer, as the largest consumer in Europe. Unfrozen preheated meals, which are merely chilled and require less time to reheat, are are also popular and sold in most supermarkets. Chilled ready meals are intended for immediate heating and consumption. Although, although most can be frozen by the consumer after purchase and they can either be heated from frozen or may have, or may have to be defrosted during reheating. Many different varieties of frozen and chilled ready meals are now generically available in the United Kingdom, including gourmet recipes, organic and vegetarian dishes, traditional British and foreign frozen meals, are, or small, smaller cho um, children meals. The invention of the TV dinner, again, the identity of the TV dinner's inventor has been disputed. In one account, it first was publicized in 1996. Retired Swanson executive Jerry Thomas had conceived the idea after the company found itself with a huge surplus of frozen turkeys. Because of poor Thanksgiving sales, Thomas, Thomas's version and Thomas' version of events has been challenged by the Los Angeles Times. Members of the Swanson family and former Swanson employees, they, they credit the Swanson brothers for the invention. Betty Cronin, a bacteriologist employed by C.A. Swanson and Sons, also has been credited with the important contributions to the invention of the TV dinner. She was involved in the technical design of TV items that could be frozen and then reheated successfully. Swanson's concept was not original, but in 1944, William, at William L. Maxson's Frozen dinners were being served by the military and on airplanes. Other prepackaged meals were also marketed bef um, before Swanson's TV dinners. In 1948, plain frozen fruit and vegetables were joined by what is called dinner plates. And trays were um, dinner plates and the main course, potato and vegetable. In 1952, the first frozen dinners were oven-ready aluminum trays and introduced by Quaker State Foods under the One-Eyed Eskimo label. And in 1954, the company sold 2 million such dinners annually. Um, here we go. 1954, okay. Uh, the Quaker State Food... The Quaker State Foods were, and other companies included the Philadelphia-based Frigi, uh, uh, Frigi Dinners, F-R-I-G-I -I Dinners, and were offered such fare beef stew and corn and peas and veal goulash with peas and potatoes and chicken chow mein with egg rolls and fried rice. Swanson, a large producer of can and frozen poultry in Omaha, Nebraska, was able to promote the widespread sales and adaption of frozen dinners using its national recognized name brand and extensive national market campaign uh, a nickname Operation Smash and the clever advertising name of the TV dinner was tapped into public excitement and a new device. 
and we we have a couple minutes left, so I'm, I'm going to say these things. Um, the production process of the frozen meals has been highly automated and undergoes the major steps of those steps and food preparation, tray loading and freezing. During food preparation, vegetables and fruits are usually placed in movable on a movable belt and and washed. Then placed in a container to be steamed or boiled for one to three minutes. The process is referred by blanching and is used by method to destroy enzymes to, to destroy enzymes and the food chemical changes negatively affecting overall <coughs> flavor and color of the fruits and vegetables. As for all meats prior to cooking, they are trimmed of fat and cut into proper sizes. The fish is usually cleaned and cut into fillets, and the poultry is usually washed thoroughly and dressed. The fish is usually uh, um, cut out of the fillets and the, hold on a second, okay. Um, meats are then seasoned and placed into trays and cooked over a predominantly with, with a predetermined amount of time. After all the food is ready to be packaged and is sent to the filling lines, the food is placed in compartments as the trays pass under numerous filling machines to ensure the ever-packaged TV dinner to get an equal amount of food and the filling, and the filling devices are strictly regulated. The food undergoes a process of cryogenic freezing with liquid nitrogen. These foods are placed on the conveyor belt and is sprayed with liquid nitrogen that boils on contact with the freezing food. This method of flash freezing fresh foods can be used to retain natural quality of the food. When the food is chilled through cryogenic freezing, the, the ice crystals are formed <clears throat> throughout the food that is in theory that preserves the food indefinitely if stored safely. Cryogenic freezing is widely used as it as is a method for rapid freezing and almost no no dehydration including oxygen and and decreasing oxidative spoilage that causes less damage to individual freezing pieces Dur during the fa due to the fact of cost operation. Cryogenic freezing is high and is commonly used in, for high value food products such as TV dinners, which is a $4.5 billion industry a year and continuing to grow with the constant introduction of new technology. Following, following this, the TV dinners are either covered with aluminum foil or paper products and is tightly packed in partial vacuums, created to ensure that the evaporation takes place that, is, um, that causes the food to dry out. Then the packaged dinners are placed in refrigerated storage facilities, transported in a refrigerated truck and stored in the grocer's freezer. TV dinners prepared with aforementioned steps are, or that it is frozen and packaged properly and can remain in near perfect condition so as long 
the, um, that they are stored at 18 degrees Celsius or zero degrees Fahrenheit for shipping and storage. And one last thing, uh, there's health concerns about frozen meals who are, that are heavily processed with extra salt to make foods last longer. In addition, stabilizing the product for a long period of time means that companies are partially, uh, partially hydrate the vegetable oils for many items, typically dessert. Partially hydrogenated vegetable oils are high in trans fat and are shown adversely uh, that adversely deal with cardiovascular health. TV dinners are almost significantly less nutritious. Fresh food, fresh food is formulated to remain edible for lo for longer periods of storage, and um, it it deals with. Uh, the variability um, between brands. And um, with that said, the, uh, we're putting this as the second part of our Thanksgiving special. I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time on Able to Cook, the only program that focuses on the needs, concerns, and achievements in the kitchen despite your challenges. Uh, happy Thanksgiving. And uh, for more information on anything that you've seen on Able to Cook or any of the shows that we've done, Able to On Air and Green Iron Sports Talk, you can go to www.orcamedia.net. That's www.orcamedia.net. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Lauren Seiler. See you next time.